The buttons you just added in the previous step need to do something. Let's create a scene for each button that will display an enlarged version of the chosen painting. We'll first create those scenes and then add a navigation action to each Asset Flow button. Right-click the Artwork scene in the Scenes panel and select the Add a Sequence option. The purpose of a sequence is to visually represent logically related scenes. Sequences are only visible to designers using Composer. Right-click the Sequence row in the Scenes panel and select Add a Scene. Change the name of this scene to Painting 1. Using the techniques learned in earlier steps, add a background image, then go BG Orange, Then copy paste the text asset from artwork scene Paste it into this new scene and update the text to say Painting 1 Resizing the text box may be necessary to make the entire title visible Now let's add an image From the content library Add the image landscape-1.png into the scene and move it to the right side of the canvas. Note how we were reusing the same image applied to an image button in the Asset Flow collection back on the featured movie scenes. Content can be used multiple times in the same scene and across scenes. Open the Properties panel and change the image width to 1030, the height to 820, and then assign X and Y coordinates of 1260 and 640. With that done, let's add a navigation button that will send visitors back to the artwork scene. Add a simple button to the scene itself, not to the background experience layer, and change its text to Back. Then, drag it to the left part of the scene and place it behind the Painting 1 text. Add a Trigger Action Pair to this button so that the released action causes a navigation to the artwork scene. Finally, let's add a navigation action to the appropriate button in the asset flow of the artwork scene. Return to the artwork scene and using the scene structure panel, select the button in the asset flow representing painting 1. Add a trigger action pair to that button so the released trigger causes navigation to the painting 1 scene located within the sequence. Hit F5 on your keyboard or press the play button in Composer. Slide the asset flow with your finger or mouse until you see the image for painting 1 and then select it. Verify that the action works as expected. Once on the dedicated painting scene, tap the back button to navigate to the artwork scene again. Hit the escape button on your keyboard to return to Composer's edit mode. You can now apply the same process to the other five paintings. Copy the painting one scene and paste five copies into the sequence. Modify each of these five scenes to contain content specific for the associated artwork. Update each of the other image buttons in the artwork asset flow by adding the appropriate navigation actions. Once done, hit F5 on your keyboard or press the play button in Composer and enjoy your work navigating from the artwork collection to an enlarged version of each painting.